the card in your wallet is worth that much. Now you can get something that really hauls, or something that really hauls, with the Ford Citibank card. Now this is a better idea. I'm using Pam, the only leading all-natural cooking spray, to cook a low-fat feast. Pam lets the natural flavors come through, so nothing comes between you and the taste of your food. Pam. The Grizzly Bear, tonight on those incredible animals. Tuesday nights, an hour of ideas whose time had come, and ones that will shape our future. I know you're going to do Discover the gimmicks, gadgets, and gizmos of yesterday, and marvel at the ultra-sophisticated high-tech tools of tomorrow. It's alive! Don't miss Invention and Next Step. Tuesdays, beginning at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Discovery Channel. I come to watch you, they pay all this money, you're acting with a bag over your head. You pushed me down the stairs. It's what we see. We had no idea what Star Wars would turn into. Or what we think we see. And some of the shots have mistakes in them, but you can't see them. No camera! Take a peek at Optical Illusions and explore the world of movie magic. Thursday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Discovery Channel. Friday on Cable's new learning channel, one of the greatest scientific discoveries comes to life. A 5,000-year-old man frozen in time. His exposure sparked interest around the world. His legacy could rewrite history. Don't miss an incredible U.S. television premiere, The Iceman. Man. a wildlife park in Arizona and meet Bobby and Dean Harrison, whose big cats are just like family. Then, where do performing animals go when their starring days are over? Meet Pat Derby, who's working to make sure retired big cats enjoy their golden years. And we'll go to the San Diego Zoo to meet John Michelle, a big cat lover who's fighting to save them from extinction. All this and more on this special, Mac and Muttley. This is Recon, a 450-pound Bengal tiger at Marine World Africa, USA, and Vallejo, California, and he's here to help me and Muttley kick off our special on big cats. Now, getting even this close to a Bengal tiger is not an everyday experience for most of us, but we know a couple down in Phoenix, Arizona, who are so close to their furry friends, they're just like family. In fact, you might call them the cat people. For most, a close encounter with a big cat is only a dream, or maybe a nightmare. But just outside of Phoenix, Arizona, you'll find Dean and Bobby Harrison, who every day get closer than you can possibly imagine. They're the proud parents of a one-of-a-kind wildlife park known as Out of Africa. When I was seven years old, the Lord gave me an instinct to see from the predator's eyes rather than from man's eyes, to, to look at their point of view on the other side of the fence rather than from our point of view. And from that time on, I did that. And this is an interim result. Come here. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh, Ow. Oh. Oh. oh, it's all right. Nobody's going to hurt you. Dean and Bobby met almost a decade ago. He was a salesman. She was a supervisor. And both were fascinated with wild cats. They decided to pursue their dream together to form a wild animal park for big cats, where people could see them in natural habitats, where the cats never had to perform where every cat was brother or sister to every other cat, and where each one felt like Bobby and Dean were just family. One cat led to another, which led to another. Uh, it wasn't a matter of, well, let's just keep getting cats. It was, uh, there was a need to learn about another cat, or there was a cat that had a need um, that was dying and was confiscated, and it needed a place. You love it, and you fulfill its needs, and you take every opportunity to help it when it has a need. And it just kind of all comes together. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. It's, it's amazing. They have no fear, and the animals know that. Today, out of Africa attracts thousands of people. They come to see the lion, tigers, the leopard, the serval, all the cats living together. And most of all, they come to enjoy the Harrison's unique relationship with the cats. There's no tricks here, no jumping through hoops of fire. 
Most of the time, Bobby and Dean just talk about the cats and their experiences. Well, actually, we were picking him up from the airport, and on the way home, he was sitting on my lap, and he was sucking on my finger at the time. And we said, what a happy guy. And that's how he got his name, H.G. Happy Guy Saginaw. The rest of the time is spent doing what the Harrisons consider good-natured roughhousing, but what the audience might consider a wee bit frightening. He's <laughs> all rough. He's not biting. There's play, testing, and then there's an all-out attack. Uh, we get a lot of play, and that's what most of what we deal with them is involved with, is playing. There's a particular look in their eye that you see that is, you realize, my gosh, uh, this one is going to play, this one is going to test. You don't feel scared, you just go through the situation. Um, we've had some situations that were frightening, but not at the time. It's afterwards talking about it and, and reliving it in our conversation that it's, you know, it's spooky. But you just, you go through it, you do what you have to do. Oh, it's nothing. In the future, the Harrisons hope to expand even further. They want to make a home for jaguars, cheetahs, and even snow leopards. But right now, they're most concerned about their newest arrival. Her name is going to be Kalahari. This will be cat number 16, an African serval kitten born in Oklahoma and a potential mate for their other serval. Like most of Bobby and Dean's cats, this one will be raised by them, fed by them, even sleep in their bed. They sleep in bed with you and they curl up with you. And then when they get bigger, you curl up with them. <laughs> there are no days off here, no other job they'd rather be doing, no other people or animals they'd rather be with. They live for their cats, and their cats seem to appreciate it. It's been a huge sacrifice, but for the Harrisons and these cats, it's been worth it. To have a life like this, it takes complete dedication. We don't call it a, a job, we call it a lifestyle. Uh, we live it, we eat it, we sleep it, and it's wonderful. Not to say that it's not difficult and that we don't give up um, things that might, uh, might be hard for other people to give up, um, but it's, it's wonderful. I wouldn't change it for anything. Bobby and Dean Harrison, living a dream out in the middle of the Arizona desert. They've created their own little world, maybe a little Eden. All we can hope is that they and their cats continue to thrive and that the people who visit them realize how fortunate the Harrisons are to live a life close to the world's big cats. They give us what we all need, a relationship, mm -hmm. a feeling of being part of something greater than ourselves, Just a reason to live, a reason to do what we do, a reason for being. Well, Bobby and Dean also care for reptiles. If you ever get to out of Africa, you can see some iguanas and snakes, including one huge python. Well, how big is he? <laughs> Take a look at this. It takes at least a dozen people to carry it. And his name? Why, but of course, it's Colossus. A retirement home for big cats. Next on Mac and Mutlin. The Grizzly Bear, coming up next on Those Incredible Animals. So, Dad, how's my salad? Great. Here, try some bacon. Bacon? Mmm. Better? Mmm. -hmm. Much better? Mmm. Can I use your credit card? <laughs> <laughs> Cholesterol-free bacon makes every bite better. Mmm. If your feathers have been ruffled by downdrafts in the market, get on board something big, safe, and secure. Get met. It pays. By nature, cats are choosy. Some even choose their owners. But Iams knows cats depend on people to give them what they need, meat. Cats crave its taste. Meat protein is so important for eyes, muscle tone, skin and coat, and energy. And since there's more chicken-based protein in Iams than the leading dry cat food, your cat will love it. So choose Iams, and your cat will be glad he chose you. Because quality protein matters, insist on Iams. Tuesday nights, an hour of ideas whose time had come.
and ones that will shape our future. I know you're going to dig this. Discover the gimmicks, gadgets, and gizmos of yesterday and marvel at the ultra-sophisticated high-tech tools of tomorrow. It's alive! Don't miss Invention and Next Step. Tuesdays, beginning at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Discovery Channel. You don't normally think about retirement when you think of animals, but many performing animals have careers and retire just the way people do. Well, where do they go when they retire? Well, some of them are cared for by their original owners, but others face a more tragic end. Luckily for a few of those, there's a woman named Pat Derby and an organization called PAWS. Performing exotic cats have amused and intrigued us for thousands of years. But just like people, their performing careers eventually come to an end. And unfortunately, for some of them, so do their lives. But for a few lucky ones, there's one place they can go to live out the golden years. Pat Derby started in show business as an actress. She later decided to switch to a successful career behind the scenes as an animal trainer. Six years ago, from her home in Galt, California, she launched the Performing Animals Welfare Society, better known as PAWS. It's a humane society for captive, performing animals. Most of the animals that come through here are animals that have been in traveling road shows, uh, traveling circuses. Uh, as they get older, particularly the cats, um, they get to a point where the trainer would prefer using younger animals. And so the older animals are just sort of out there on what they call surplus lists, and they have no place to go. Presently, Pat has lions, leopards, and a jaguar living here. Now, one of the oldest and probably most famous residents is Christopher, an 18-year-old cougar. Now, if it wasn't for Pat, Christopher wouldn't even be alive, let alone become a star in television commercials. He was born in a zoo with a bone disorder and was going to be euthanized. I was working for Lynn Mercury at the time, and we had need of a baby mountain lion. So I had heard about Christopher, and I got him. When he was a cub, we tried to keep him quiet. Uh, they had put steel pins in his back legs because of the bone problem. And in order to keep him quiet, I would have to hold him. And he would sit for hours on my lap and suck on my thumb. So now he's 18 years old, and he still sucks on my thumb. Come on, sweetheart. Not all the cats around here have as much notoriety as Christopher, but it doesn't lessen their value in Pat's eyes. These two female lions, Pat calls the girls, were part of a traveling animal show whose owners ran out of cash and compassion. A lot of the animals died of exposure, and there were some 65 animals, really, that we had to place. And in cooperation with about four other humane societies, we were able to place all the smaller animals, but uh, these two lionesses, two bears and a jaguar, those five, we could find no places for them, so we quickly had to build enclosures. Hello. <laughs> Hi. The cats here have found peace and tranquility away from the showbiz circuit. That is, with the exception of an occasional camera crew popping in for pictures. It's all right. When a leopard snarls and they're angry, they mean it. <laughs> they're very serious about it. Uh, she's directing everything at the camera, but uh, those are warnings. I'll go in with her, but um, when she starts to get playful, I will have to come out rather quickly because leopards play seriously. Each cat here is cared for according to his or her needs. Their diets are customized, and a lot of time is spent with them individually to give them a reasonable quality of life. Year after year, Paws is called on to take in more cats than they can handle. They exhaust every resource possible to place them in healthy environments, but they aren't always successful. A lot of cats are destroyed, often in ways that aren't so humane. The real horror these days is they go to hunting ranches uh, where people 
particularly in places in Texas where a hunter will go to get a lion. Uh, he'll pay a fee, and this could be an old, old circus lion who, who just walks literally out of a cage and they shoot him. And that's, that's really one of the horrors that we hear about all the time. Paws and its membership are dedicated to making a difference in the lives of big cats and all creatures used commercially. They're making efforts to educate the people and the policymakers to legislate with compassion and concern for their welfare. In the meantime, Pat will do all she can for the few she can. To see to it, they live the rest of their lives with the dignity and the respect they deserve. I can't imagine doing anything other than what I'm doing. It's a most satisfying experience if you like animals, and of course we do. Well, Pat says that not all of her cats were cast-offs from show business. Some of them were pets of people who owned them illegally or were unable to care for them properly. Just another example of how important it is to understand that caring for an animal is a lifetime commitment and how exotic cats require extraordinary resources to house and feed them. They really should not be kept as pets. Coming up on Mac and Muttley, fighting to save the world's last big cat. Flight 241 is ready for immediate departure. All passengers must be. I just want to freshen up my lipstick. Is it on straight? Little Caesars, cheeser, cheeser. Not one, but two pizzas loaded with cheese. Choice of two toppings, free crazy bread, just $7.99. Pizza, pizza. Resolve to quit. Help save a life, your own. They put me in a lineup, and he said, no, you can't go, you're under arrest for murder. Justice Files. All new episodes premiering tonight at 10 Eastern and Pacific only on the Discovery Channel. This week on Video Hotline, the hottest movies in town. Video Hotline, the video store that delivers. Freddie Roman, Mousy Lawrence, Dick Capri, and Louise Duard in Catskills on Broadway. <laughs> My grandma told me I wasn't going to have a good time. I was too young, but I really enjoyed it. It was great. Thoroughly entertaining, Broadway stuff and Broadway style. You laugh till you hurt. The crowd roared till the tears curled their playbills. I laughed my head off. And what do you think, darling? I can't wait to come back with my boyfriend. At the Wilshire Theater. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Well, many of us think that zoos are just places where we can go and see the animals of the world, but many zoos perform an even more important function. They're struggling to preserve and to regenerate entire groups of endangered animals, such as big cats. How it takes incredible amount of knowledge and commitment. Fortunately, there are people such as John Michelle of the San Diego Zoo. The wild cats of the world, they're beautiful, powerful, and endangered. These glorious creatures are slowly disappearing from our planet, and the culprit, as usual, is man. Okay, buddy. Let's eat. But this man is part of a worldwide effort to protect the wild cats. John Michel is a mammal keeper for the San Diego Zoo. His job is to care for part of the zoo's large collection of wild cats. These are North Chinese leopards. We have a boy and a girl, and they were born on January the 25th. And 
They just went on exhibit a couple of days ago for the first time. This is significant birth, obviously, because there's only 92 of these animals in captivity. We increased the population by two. And it's, uh, it's going to be an ongoing program, hopefully a very successful one, to repopulate these animals in the wilds in our lifetime. John also works in the Species Survival Program, a project involving zoos from all over the world whose goal is to increase the shrinking wildcat population. He works closely with Jeff Zuba, the zoo veterinarian, to provide a healthy environment for the cats. These leopards are being vaccinated to protect them from common diseases. And they're also being checked to make sure they're healthy and gaining weight. Later, when these cubs get a little older, they'll be sent to other zoos so that they can mate with other leopards. What we try to avoid here is to create pets. Uh, these animals, uh, I find anyway, uh, do a lot better amongst their own when they're not too bonded to people. But you have to balance uh, a captive situation with trying not to get that bonding too strong uh, because you do have to be able to handle them for examinations and vaccinations as they grow up. All of the big cats are in trouble in their uh, free-ranging habitat. Realistically, a lot of these animals are not going to be returned to their former habitat because it's either gone or being destroyed at such a rate that in our lifetime, uh, there will be nothing to be returned to. Controlling the size of a cat population is as much a part of the survival program as increasing it, as in the case of this family of Brazilian leopards that includes three cubs. The mother, Anoche, has been tranquilized so that she can undergo a birth control operation. She's doing well. She's a little bit light, but she's unaware of what's going on, so this is very comfortable for us. We'll just transport her up to the hospital and then start our root canal and hormonal implant. One of the important aspects of any type of a responsible captive breeding program is to make sure that you don't over-represent over a certain animal. So we've decided to implant her with this contraceptive device so that she'll no longer be able to conceive at this point in time. But it's not a terminal type of uh, implant. As soon as we remove the implant, then she'll be able to breed again. The mom cat came out of surgery just fine. She'll return to live with her mate. Their offspring, like most of the cubs in the survival program, will be sent to other zoos so that they can be bred with other Brazilian leopards. For John, perhaps no other cat symbolizes the plight of these animals more than the snow leopard. It is one of the most passive and beautiful of the wild cats, and yet poachers have decimated its numbers. The snow leopard, as a species in the wild, is in trouble because they are being taken strictly for their coats, or uh, somebody else's uh, pleasure to wear. You look at these animals and you think, how could anybody do that? This is one happy cat right there. It's the fate of cats like the snow leopard that will always inspire John in his effort to help save them. All life is precious. And, uh, whatever we can do to preserve those animals that are in trouble deserve all of our efforts as an institution and as individuals. There are many different types of animals in the species survival program, including various types of big cats. And at the San Diego Zoo and the San Diego Wild Animal Park, it's an affiliated organization, they've got black rhinos, orangutans, gorillas, various types of birds and reptiles, and they'll be adding more species all the time. Next up on Mac and Mutley, frolicking with two baby mountain lions. The grizzly bear coming up next on those incredible animals. Get met, it pays. 
people have different nutritional needs. So how can you be sure you're taking the right vitamins for you? Your Life Daily Packs take the guesswork out of vitamins. And only Your Life offers proof and release. Because if vitamin pills don't release, they can't work. Your Life Daily Packs for women, for men, for special needs. A complete vitamin system customized for you and the life you lead. These are first graders reading on a fifth grade level. We could have never done this without Hooked on Phonics. Kipling decided to wait until late the next night when there would be fewer trains. There once was a yellow... Open Six were easily reading fifth grade level by the end of the nine-month school year. Even the very slowest child in the class graduated reading third grade. Hooked on phonics. It works. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. It's what we see, or what we think we see. Take a peek at Optical Illusions. Explore the world of movie magic. Thursday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Discovery Channel. Well, this is Zuni and Tonto. They're both four-month-old North American cougars. They've got spots on them when they're born, but they gradually lose those as they get older. Now, cougars are the largest big cats still surviving in North America. Traditionally, they were found almost everywhere, from swamps to the plains to the mountains. Some people call them panthers, others call them pumas or mountain lions. Whatever you call them, their existence now in the wild is severely threatened. So they deserve our special care, protection, and respect. <laughs> Mudley, come here, come here. I wasn't ignoring you. <laughs> all right. Well, that's our show for this time. We'll be back again next time with some more great stories all about pets, animals, and the wild adventures. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening at 7 for Mac and Muffley. But coming up next, host Loretta Swit explores the world of the grizzly bear on those incredible animals. Then orphaned baby animals find a home on safari. This portion of Discovery is brought to you in part by Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food. When a new creation comes from Carolina Herrera, you know it will be classic. When a new design comes from Vacheron Constantine, you know it will be timeless. And when a new dry cat food comes from Fancy Feast, you know it will be.